What is up, everyone? Devin Kepke, Snap Kep Keeps, Team Card Hoarder. Um, we're on the play, match five, game one. We're going to keep. We got two of our pieces with an Ugin and uh, some very hateful, well, just one hateful thing, but uh, some cantrips, so we're going to keep. <clears throat> Start with the Tron Land, play a uh, star in case it gets killed. Then uh, we still get the draw card. Hopefully OP is playing Dredge. Because we have our Relic. They're probably playing Burn or something crazy that Relic's not good against. Death Shadow Zoo or Infect. Or Kiln Fiend or Storm. Or I guess some sort of Delver variant. Looks like Zoo. Looks like La Death Shadow Zoo. Definitely Death Shadow Zoo. Taking my Ugin, I presume. Ooh, taking the Relic. I wish you would have taken my Ugin. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna crack this for green. Someone's crying. Uh, no, that, that wasn't it. Power plant. Um, I guess we crack it for green now in case we hit stirrings because we're going to want that. Did not hit. Man, I wish they would have taken my Ugin. So the fact that they took Relic means they definitely have uh, become immense. So get ready for that, that fun card, fun and fair balanced magic card. I guess this could be Jund? Nope, <laughs> that ain't it. Dude, I'm just going to ghost quarter their green source. See if they have a forest in there. Uh, never mind. Just kidding. I'm gonna find a tower. Do dumb Tron things. Okay, so if they don't kill us, we kill them. Uh, I suspect we're gonna die though. Oh yeah, we dead. We dead for sure. Well, poop. Good night, friends. All right, well, poop. Uh, Blessed Alliance is in. Man, this is the third time we played that in this league. This is like such a bad matchup, too. It's crazy. Um,. World Breakers are not ideal. Uamagas are pretty cool. Pretty cool cards. Karn's alright. Uh, Chromatic Spear is not great. Get out of here. Everything else is pretty decent. Worm Quirrell's good. Huge blocker. Um, Bat's great, obviously. Blessed Alliance is pretty good. Has a bunch of utility. We don't have any Tron lands, but we have ways to make Tron lands, and we have a removal spell. However, our removal spell costs white mana, and then we would have to crack a star for white. Um, we have a 10 mana spell that is probably not going to get cast before we die. Mulligan. Uh, we have two Tron lands, and uh, some things. I'm going to keep, hopefully scry that, oh man, we need that card too. <laughs> We also need a green mana source. We need green mana source more than we need that, probably. Spell Sky's so good in this matchup. 
But I think if we just get to a worm coral on turn three or whatever, like we're gonna be aces. Swift Spear. Yeah, this matchup feels not great. We need them to stumble, and we need us to, like, do our thing. Mostly just them to stumble. <laughs> What sound do you think Worm Coral Engine makes? Something brutal. Ugin's Majestic. Tag Tusk is probably something along the lines of a cow. Moo. Okay, perfect draw. I mean perfect. Couldn't think of a better draw than Ulamog to Ceaseless Hunger. Mm-mm-mm. This thing probably doesn't have a sound. It's just so big and so weird that sounds just, it doesn't, it doesn't have, I don't know, words. It doesn't have a sound. Uh, all right. You can see how Spell Sky would not be like great or anything because we're still going to get beaten down by this Death Shadow. One mutagenic growth busts up. I guess it doesn't. Never mind. I guess, yeah, they have a lightning bolt, so the spell sky wouldn't be great. What is happening? Tron land. Power plant, please? No! Alright, we're dead, folks. Pack it in. Pack it in. Give me my 120 play points and my one treasure chest. Sure. <laughs> Who cares? They hit their one of Sony Silence 2? Unlucky. Alright, we need exactly plant. Here. Now. <clears throat> well. Is that a power plant? I can't tell. It won't let me play it as a land, so I assume not. Uh, dead. Watch me open treasure chests, or not. 3 2 lost to Death Shadow Aggro twice. Matchup seems pretty bad. Uh, other than that, deck, you know, did Tron things. It was all right, it was kind of cool. Maybe could use some tinkering, like maybe more Worm Coil Engines. That card, I think that card's really good. Maybe less Ulamogs. Less world breakers. World breakers is kind of poopy, in my opinion. Like I think this, I think world breaker is much worse than uh, worm coral. But then again, I played against a bunch of aggressive decks today. Let's say I play against a bunch of Tron decks. I'm like, man, I need these world breakers because uh, worm coral sucks, you know. But yeah, we three twoed. Uh, we had a treasure chest from uh, a league previous, so we're gonna open two and hopefully we hit. So let's go. Uh, Curse of Stalked Prey. I actually played this in uh, Tempered Steel. And um, I remember a match when I went uh, Triple Memnite, Land, uh, Mox Opal, Curse of Stalked Prey. And I won that match. It was dope. Uh, and then this card. Isn't this like the Hymn to Turok if you have Delirium? Yeah, yeah, it is. And a pack. So, kind of an alright treasure chest. Need to hit something good here, Moto. Some good. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. What's this? Saskia the Unyielding. Uh, as Saskia Unyielding enters the battlefield, choose a player. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, it deals that much damage to a chosen player. Oh, so it gives everything double strike? Kind of. That's pretty decent. And it's a haster, vigilance, okay. All right, so let's let's see how much a fifth dawn serum visions is worth. Break moto. 
Oh man, the trade function. The trade function. All right, serum visions. Uh, two dollars a dollar. All right. I guess that ain't that bad. It's kind of like getting a pack. I guess what is what is Saskia worth? Is that her name or his name? Saskia. Saskia, the unyielding is three dollars worth more than serum visions. Let's go. Okay, well, thanks for watching this edition of Snap Cap Keeps. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to be playing after the Invitational or at the Invitational. So keep your ear to the ground. Hopefully I'm still on Card Hoarder. Uh, you never know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any feedback, let me know. Um, deck was fun, and hopefully we can play something better and more fun, um, you know, next week. So once again, really appreciate you guys watching. Um, see you at the Invitational if you're going to be there. If not, be cool.